Hey everyone, welcome back to What's the Dish. I am here with Lo Gallo from Lil Miss Korea. We're going to be showing you something something new. I don't think you've seen this before. This is from her restaurant week menu. We're going to get in that soon. I want to touch on, as we're sitting out here, I want to note that you see people sitting here set up with signs here at the market. We do have a job fair going on right now. We'll have it from today until Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. So looking to look, work at the market or any other great hospitality um, jobs in downtown Allentown, make sure to stop by. But I think people people really want to know, well, what's the dish? So let's get back to the kitchen, okay? So the dish is Spam and Veggie Dumplings. Um, we're gonna feature these for the restaurant week they are larger dumplings. Um, they're gonna be homemade, obviously. And we're gonna teach Christina here how to make and fold some dumplings. I had never done this before, so um, please bear with me and don't make fun of me. <laughs> All right, so just the ingredients. Um, we have some vermicelli noodles here. This is cooked for about seven minutes drained and then um, cut up and in the mix. We have cabbage, we have firm tofu, we have um, cut up shiitake mushrooms from Primordia. We have Spam, the star of the show. Um, onions, garlic, and scallions. So I think some people might be thinking in their head that maybe are not Spam lovers. Why Spam? Like, if you haven't had it, it's amazing by the way, but why Spam? Um, I ate it a lot growing up. It's a very, very common dish for uh, all types of Asian Pacific Islanders. Um, usually the way that I had it was over rice and some kimchi and it was always pan fried and it was probably something that I ate genuinely two to three times a week. Um, and Asians in general are one of the largest consumers of Spam so I think it's really important to, to highlight that. And I, I just thought it would be really fun to put it in a dumpling and it turned out delicious so I cannot wait for you guys to try it. And I can't wait to try it too. <laughs> All right, so. We cooked all these ingredients separately, um, minced up the, the garlic, the onion, the scallion, the cabbage, crushed up the tofu, crushed up the uh, spam, and it's all in a mixing bowl here. And we've been in production for a little bit now, so. Um, how many dumplings do you say, like when you do a mixture, how many would this make? Um, this is probably, honestly, this is probably gonna make close to 50. Wow. Yeah, for, yeah. for this little bin here. When I do like larger productions, I make about two to three hundred at a time um, for one flavor. Oh so yeah, yeah. We it's put a dumpling party. Yeah. So, Christina, um, we washed our hands, guys. Yes. We even put hand sanitizer on. So I, I think I think we should be okay. And we're going to be eating these ourselves. We have these um, extra large dumpling wrappers from Korea, and I just like to stretch it out a little bit at the edges to make a little bit more of a surface area. All right, I'm gonna get mine now. Mm -hmm. I told Lo, the closest thing I ever came to a dumpling wrapper was an empanada wrapper, which I don't think is very, so much. <laughs> I'm so okay, so I'm gonna try to stretch it out like you did. There's a lot of ways that you can fold dumplings. I mean, it's really the, the possibilities are endless. You can just fold it over like a turnover. You can make these gorgeous pleats in it. But um, my signature pleat is a single pleat, and they look like this. And it's just one pleat that is inward for the whole dumpling. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, all right, so how much should I spoon in here? Just like one hefty spoonful? I think hefty is good. Yeah, all right. And while you're watching, if anyone has questions for Lo, Feel free. Yeah, and guys, yeah. comment down below if you want me to do a workshop of um, dumplings. This is a very Korean dumpling for two reasons. There's tofu and there's vermicelli noodles. Um, other dumplings, like Chinese dumplings, or even even um, like Japanese dumplings, which are gyoza, they don't usually have tofu and or the noodles in it. All right, so what is next? Um, what is this little, is this just water or? It's just water with a tiny bit of cornstarch. 
And then you're just gonna dip your finger in there. All right, and what does the cornstarch help with? Um, it's just a, it's not really a binding agent. I just do it because it's like silkier. Okay. But you can also do this with an egg wash if you please. You can also add an egg in here to make it more uh, uniform, but honestly, I just thought about that, so I forgot about it, but it's okay. <laughs> Still good. Yeah, it's still good. Still good. All right, so. All right. The signature pleat. We're going to fold it like this. I'm going to watch her first. In, in, and then press down. Oh, she makes it look so easy. Okay, on. All right. I'm going to do this. Pleat. Oh. And then another pleat. And then. And then down. Oh, I'm going to have some chilling out. And then press down. All right. I think I did it. It's not as beautiful as yours, but. Hey, as long as there's some love to it, that's all that matters. And doesn't come out. That's mm -hmm. the most important part, right? Um, and I'm gonna show you like a triangular dumpling, which is really, really easy. If you guys are at home with your kids and you want some type of project to do, you're gonna get the dumpling wrapper, make it wet on all of the edges, and you're just gonna make it into a triangle, just like that. Oh, mm -hmm. super, super easy. And this is something that um, a lot of homemade dumpling places uh, that only sell dumplings, this is what they do because it's just so easy. Yeah. There's no pleats needed. You just have to pinch right in the middle and you're done. Yeah, and um, you get kind of like more of a nice like crispy surface area rather than having like just one area that's just all beautiful. Yeah. All Do you want to try one? I'll try, I'll try one. Yeah. So, as I'm getting ready to make this next one, so we drop restaurant week. What are the exact dates for the downtown town spring restaurant week? Yeah, so it's going to be, um, I believe, the 20th to so the 25th, 24th. Okay. Um, and we're going to feature certain things. I'm going to feature certain things on the menu that are not going to be available outside of restaurant week. We have a kimchi uh, udon dish. It's like uh, braised kimchi sauce over udon noodles and shrimp and ribeye. So it's my surf and turf kimchi udon. We're gonna have these featured and we're also gonna have a deluxe bento box. Ooh. Yeah. All right, okay, so I'm gonna do it again with the party. Ooh, I'm just going to fold it. In. And and if you have the egg, this would help with the with the binding. With binding it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then again with the the water. Now you did it all around, yeah? Yes, I did. Okay. Everyone's here as I learn. I feel I'm gonna I'm gonna make dumplings this weekend at home. I'm feeling inspired now, but they're, I know they're not gonna be as tasty as this. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, all right. So I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna. You did like what? Oh, on. I. It's like a. There you go. You you got uh, it. Oh. Like, like this, yeah? No? Yeah, no. Wait, is it? No, no, wait. <laughs> so let's, let's make the middle meet. Oh, there you go. The, yeah, you just want three sides of it to touch in the middle, and then it should form. There you go. There you go. All right, she had to help me. I feel like I kind of cheated with this one because she did the hard part, but still, still did it, and it's closing. There you go. Another another dumpling. Um, she's going to show us some of the finished product, I believe, as well. And while she's getting it together, just so you know, a lot of different events are coming to downtown Allentown this spring. We have, in, you know, right here on the Arts Box, so you can stop in the market along the way. We have um, Dan That's the Bomb workshop coming up where you can do um, botanical uh, watercolor. So that's happening April 21st at 6 p.m. You can sign up online for that. Also, Comedy Night is coming back in the Pocket Park on April 30th. So make sure you get there early, get a seat, because that gets crowded. So at 6 p.m. April 30th, make sure to be here as well. All right. Oh, this is the best part. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have the finished product here. I have it deep fried, and I also have it pan fried. Um, I would steam them, but I just think it's better when it, there's a little bit of crunch to it. Um, those yeah. are gorgeous. Yeah. Our cameraman, has, does anyone ask any questions while we are live on camera? Uh, someone asked, what are the ingredients again? 
tofu, spam, mushroom, onion, garlic, scallion, cabbage. And this is all, these three ingredients, the vegetable ingredients are all ground up in a food processor and then um, sauteed in a wok until it's like lightly caramelized. The spam is broken up by hand and then um, put into a pan to brown. And the tofu is just as is, just broken up. Just make sure that you completely get the water out by pressing it with a weight or just pressing it with um, some type of paper towel or like a dishcloth. Awesome. All right, we have one more question. What are the new market hours? Oh, this is great. Do you want to tell them? That? Yeah, so yeah. we're open 11 to 8 Tuesday and Wednesday, and we are open 11 to 9 Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So later hours, later munchies, and uh, it'd be yeah. perfect for all the new events we have starting next month. We're going to have Rock the Walk on Thursdays, live music late in the pocket park, so you can come visit the market lake, get some drinks, get some food, and enjoy live music as well. Yeah, and all of us sell some type of alcohol here. I like to feature more of local breweries, so I have a couple options from Brew Daddy and McCall. Um, and yeah, we, we all have some type of beer, some type of wine, so come on over and have a drink and have, have a meal. All right, we have one last question. Okay. Is there any indoor seating open in the market? There's tons. Yes. There's, there's so much. There really is. Yeah, and now we just recently added our outdoor seating as well. So if it's a nice day, you can sit outside or sit indoors as well. So perfect. Great. So if you did us a favor and stay the whole time and watch live, we're going to give you a special treat right now. You can use the promo code What's the Dish to get $15 off your next meal at the market. All you have to do is order online and add the promo code. Only for our live viewers, that's it. So make sure that you take advantage of that because and use it during restaurant week and you get some spam dumplings. So thank you again for watching. We'll be back next month with another market vendor. Thanks, Lo.